Hi, I'm Rachel, and I am a coral and Indo-Pacific aquarist here at the Greensboro Science Center, and here's a day in my life. So we are going to be feeding all of the fish in our venom exhibit, and we have lionfish, scorpionfish, and rabbitfish. So all of the fish in this exhibit are venomous, so I'm going to be using a feeding pole just to make sure that I am safe while they are eating. They're not overly aggressive to me, but they're very eager for food, so we don't want any mishaps. Where'd the rabbit fish go? There he is, come here, buddy. Yeah, so on a daily basis, I walk three to five miles a day within this aquarium building. So I also provide weekend coverage for our shark reef exhibit. And so today we are going to do a broadcast feed for all of the fish in that exhibit. So we've got krill and just an assorted seafood mix um, of various sizes to make sure that all of the fish are able to get, you know, a piece that works for them. So. So every single dive we do here has multiple preparation elements to it. So we have, um, for every dive, you have a diver, you have a standby who is assisting your diver throughout the dive, and then you have a DPIC who is the designated person in charge. We take diving safety very seriously here at the Greensboro Science Center, and we have a lot of protocols and plans in place to make sure that everything do is done as safely as possible. So I do routine dives in this exhibit to make sure that the windows are clean. I do a lot of cleaning and scraping of calcareous algae off of the window. I'm checking over the corals to make sure that they are all healthy and not fighting with each other. When putting this exhibit together, I tried my best to create as complete of an ecosystem as I could. And so we have many different species of soft and stony corals. We have many different fish that do different jobs in the system. And then we also have what is called a cleanup crew, where we have snails and crabs and shrimps that do their best to clean up all of the debris that might accumulate in this exhibit and help keep the corals clean. I'd say my favorite part about this job is having the opportunity to create living dynamic art that can really inspire people to care about our oceans and the planet and people may not necessarily be able to see all of these things out in the wild because not everybody is a scuba diver or has access to all of these different locations in the wild. And so to show people something that may, they may not be able to see is really, you know, inspiring to me and something I really, you know, love to do.